It never gets easier to pack these things up. The memories still grasp onto these objects, and these objects tell a story. This was such a good day. Maybe even the last good day I had, before the rest of my days were tinged or consumed by an anxiety that's hard for me to explain, even now. But I remember exactly what it feels like. There was so much I hated about being with him, but mostly it was the feeling I got when I was waiting around for him to text, or to call, or to invite me over. Sometimes he wouldn't do any of those things, and I was left to obsess over if he had found somebody else to sleep on my side of the bed. I never really said anything because I knew, deep down, that I didn't mean enough for him to change. I began to feel isolated from my world. Every moment of my life was consumed by thoughts of how I could change to make him happy. In reality, there wasn't anything I could do, but I still tried. I was so focused on him and his needs that I started to lose myself in the process. This was the worst day of my life. We never really talked about what happened that night. I was too afraid to make him uncomfortable. He hurt me, but still, I was afraid to lose him. I tried so hard to forget, but some things just stay with you forever. He told me, I think it's time for you to stop coming over. You knew this was happening, and you're leaving soon. All I could say was after all you've done to me. And his response, you'll always be special to me. Bullshit. I cried for the rest of the day. I couldn't believe that after all he had done to me, he had the nerve to break up with me. All the numbness went away, and suddenly all that was left was anger. It was like he was still winning. It was always about him winning. Well, time's up.